why I'm watching every nigga watching me closely. My shit is butter for the bread they want to toast me. I keep my head both of them where they supposed to be. Hoes to get you sidetracked, we clap from close feet. Reasonable doubt, can I live? My all-time favorite Jay-Z song. I fell in love in fanship with Jay-Z summer of 1998. Yeah. And that was after watching the uh, VHS tape, Streets is Watching. And the reason I like Jay-Z to this day is because he's so fucking cool. Like he's charismatic and, but he's a thug. Like never seen a cool thug other than the pimp from Goldie is his name, him. He kind of reminded me of him, but I wasn't trying to be no hoe. But the way that he talked, the way that he rapped, is like, I could, I can understand or, or I could know what a man think, because that's what he taught. I grew up without my dad around. I had a big brother, but I learned a lot by listening to Jay-Z. But every album after that, I bought it. And being young and buying music, I mean, that's what we worked for. And every album that I got, I always found more and more of what I liked about him. And he always remained the same. He was always cool. He always told you the real. He always was just him. And fanship grew and grew and grew and grew and grew and to this day he's still my all-time favorite artist i mean i grew up in the era where when hip-hop started so i know you know from the uh public enemy from like um it was my salt and pepper i mean all of that i grew up listening to that it was new it was exciting it was fun it was young and that's the one that I will always remember. My friends, my family, I chose my, the men I dated based on if they like Jay-Z or not. This one dude did. And I was like, man, we can't, we can't talk. We ain't got nothing in common. We could have had everything else in common, but you don't like Jay-Z, you don't like me. Deuce. All this time, what has it been like, what? More than 20 years, 25 years, he has remained number one in my heart. Um, I've met him three times. Yeah, you can meet somebody three times. Motherfucker don't remember. But anyway, met him three times. <laughs> First time I met him was in New Orleans. This was... 99, 99, he did his show in New Orleans. And I think this was right after he uh, was uh, released for charges that were brought up against him for slapping Anyo or stabbing Anyo in the club. But he had a show the next day and he made it to New Orleans. I made it there, me and my friends. I actually got to meet him at an after party. It was weird how it happened. The after party was like in a hotel. Don't ask me which one, fuck, I don't know. But they brought him in, and he brought him in with like where everybody, every, all of the uh, concert participants, whoever the party goers were. And he came around right in front of me. My sister's with me. I had my camera ready. That's when we had cameras, not phones. Cameras. And I said, take this picture. So I stepped up, I said, Jay, can I get a picture? He's like, sure. He thought I was gonna take a picture of him. And so I was like, I scooped up his arm and I turned to my sister. She took the picture. It was awesome. 
So it was like, it looked like, in the picture, it looked like we were together. But we weren't, don't get it twisted. And I think it was, oh, I don't have it. But <laughs> that was the first time I met him. And when I took the picture, I let him go. It wasn't about being any anything more than a fan. And so I got that picture developed. Three years later, he was in Houston. Three years later, I was there. And this time, he did a uh, album release party at Club Roxy, November 2003. So the way that you could get into this, this party or this uh, release party, um, you had to uh, have a ticket. I wasn't buying any tickets. So the uh, 97.9 had a radio contest, like who's the biggest fan? So they had us bring like a list of stuff that we had of Jay-Z. So I had posters, like eight CDs. I had uh, the picture that I took in New Orleans. I had some other stuff. And so, of course I won. And so when I got there, I took that picture in a frame and a birthday card because like I said, it was 2003, November. His birthday was coming up. So when I got to the party, I was lucky enough to get close to the stage. And so me close to the stage, I'm holding up my picture and he sees it. And so he invites me, not on stage, but next to the stage, stage adjacent. Um, and I was there for the rest of the show. So when he, when I went on stage, he took the picture and he was like, this is cool. So he kept it. And after the show, he left with my picture. This nigga. So I was like, I need my picture back. You can keep the birthday card. I need my picture. So we chasing him, <laughs> me and my three girls, we chasing him. And so is a bunch of other women. <laughs> chasing them to the car and so my friend she taps on the window of the car is like hey get, come, give me my girl's picture back she want our picture back I was like yeah can I have my picture back <laughs> so he was like oh okay so he tells his assistant to come talk to us let us know where they were going and the photo you see there is where they were going four seasons that's where I got the second picture with him. I had the pleasure of spending time with him talking. Not by myself, never by myself, but it was just an amazing experience for me. Young fan chasing after favorite artists. And there was another <laughs> And that was the second time I met Jay-Z. That was the third. <laughs> Trust me, it was the third. Uh, the third time was when he opened up the House of Blues in Houston, Texas. And that time, that was a weird time, but I ain't gonna talk about me. I'm just gonna talk about Jay. Um, I was pregnant. Okay, but anyway. So I still went to the show, it was standing room only. <laughs> uh, wasn't real comfortable uh, with that, but again, I won tickets. <laughs> I won tickets. I was, uh, I had to do a debate with the, uh, a, another listener from 97.9 The Box. So I had to debate this guy on what album was better, what hustle was better, what was my my favorite uh, song. So we're we're talking, we're going back and forth because this was a time when Obama was running for president and oh they was going through the election, and so they did this theme of you know setting up a debate. So I won that debate, got the tickets, went to the show, took my uh, one of my best friends. We had the most fun. So I was like, after the show, I was like, okay, I need to sit down, but I ain't ready to go. So let's go to the Four Seasons. Let's see if we can see if he's there. 
because everywhere he go, he's always staying at the Four Seasons. You heard his music. So we uh, we went to the Four Seasons. I was sitting down, um, and guess who walks by? They actually sprinting by. <laughs> First person, Beyonce. Right behind her, Jay Z. I didn't recognize Beyonce. I thought it was Beyonce, but I was like, if it ain't Beyonce, I ain't want to be rude. But I was like, hey, Jay, can you please sign my picture? Yeah. Beyonce kept going, Jay-Z stopped. And this is when I was like, never again, there would never be anyone above Jay-Z. I asked him to sign my picture. I did not have a Sharpie for him. I went to the front desk of the hotel and asked if they had a Sharpie. You know this nigga waited for me to find a Sharpie? I was like, I was, I was through. I was like, that is like, that is so humane. <laughs> I was like, so gentleman, like so nice. And he signed it and I let him go. I was like, I told my friend, I was like, that was, that was amazing. And my friend actually got to talk to him while they were waiting for me. <laughs> He's like, he said, he was so nervous, he didn't know what the fuck to say. <laughs> but that was just such an amazing thing because most artists, most performers, most celebrities wouldn't do that. I wouldn't think. I mean, they're, they have an agenda, they, they get moving. But that was just so kind. And I mean, in the spirit of him, Jay-Z, Sean, Corey Carter, Jigga, Ho, uh, William H. Holla, all of his uh, aliases, uh, <laughs> Iceberg Slim, all, all of them. I mean, I am a true fan. I am a fan for life. I am, I am you if you were a woman. I don't know. <laughs> but I just want to send a shout out. And this is my tribute to Jigga. This is for his birthday. And this is me loving who I love from a distance. It's all about you, Jay. Thank you. I appreciate that. I'm out.